How's it going guys? English Twist, I take assist. Thanks for joining me today and for showing me your support. And the subject of today's video is one of my twist tips. Alright, now, if, as you can see in front of me, I have got my, uh, I've got my yellow microfiber. Whoa, hey, he found it! And yes, it was actually, I'd put it in the, in the washing machine and it, it actually stuck to one of my, uh, one of my other articles of clothing. I actually accidentally put it in the wash or what have you. Uh, sorry, not in the wash, in the, in the dryer with some of my other clothes. So I actually found that, so we're back to the beautiful yellow. All right, yeah. You have a text message. All right, and um, I've also, uh, if you can see here, I've got some rather ragged, uh, well, not really ragged, but let's say used screen protectors, okay? What I've actually got specifically here is my mirrored screen protector, and I've also got a Switch Easy screen protector. Now, you look at this, and you think, he's not going to use that, is he? Look at all them screen... Look at all that lint and rubbish that he's got on there. All right, but that's actually the subject of today's uh, twist tips. I'm going to show you how to reuse one of your screen protectors. Now, if you're like me, and when you go to try and put on these screen protectors, now I'm going to advertise one here. When I actually went to put on my um, anti fingerprint, my Steinheil anti fingerprint, man, that was a brute to get that on, let me tell you guys. I don't know whether it was just because I was feeling a bit under the weather or what was going on, but I tell you what, if you're like me and when you're putting those things on, it's taking your time, you're breaking out into a cold sweat and you start effing in blinding at the telephone, <laughs> you know, you just feel like your whole life's going to fall apart if you don't get that bloody screen protector in the right position. And then just as you get it in the right position, you find that that last breath that you took whooshed a bit of lint underneath the screen protector so when you slap it down you've got this bloody fur ball under there I mean you've seen in my videos man I've gone and put them on there and a bit of bloody rubbish has gone under the screen protector but if you like me and you do that I'm going to show you a tip today on how to resolve that issue. Now that's also for when you're installing them and also for if you say, like me, um, you have a screen protector on that you particularly like and you don't want to throw it away but then you're thinking, oh man, if I take that off I'm not going to have to reuse it. Well, you're wrong because you can reuse them, okay? What you're going to need is, is you're going to need your microfiber obviously to clean off your phone and you're going to go ahead and get yourself some sellotape and this is just some regular clear sellotape nothing fancy you can use masking tape any type of tape you want okay i use the clear because i can actually see um the lint and the and the rubbish that you actually pick up off your screen protector so that's why i use the clear so my suggestion would be to use the clear one okay and it's very straightforward. What you're going to do is, when you've actually, say for example, if you're putting it on and you find that you picked up lint on the screen protector, or if in this example, you've got your screen protector, you've taken it off, and you've decided, well, I want to use it, but look on there. Let's see if we can pick it up. Put my hand behind it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is some little remnants of hair on there. Um, okay, I'm chasing a wild goose here. We're not going to, oh, there's some. There we go. So you see that there? There we go. Good. Success. You've seen some rubbish. Oh, and you saw some more there. Did you see that? Did you blink? Yeah. So there is some on there. Believe me, there's some on there. And you've seen that obviously... You know what? There we go. There. You've just... Oh, the crowd just goes... Oh, no, he didn't. All right. Look. There we go. Look. I've stuck it face down. That is the sticky side on my bloody fur. On Sorry. On the fur on the flag. <laughs> Get yourself straight. Okay. So there you go. You can't see it, but trust me, there's some on there. Now, you've just seen me throw it down. I'll throw it down both sides. There's no camera tricks here. Okay. So you've got your screen protector. Now, I know I'm being fairly biased right now because I'm not about to take off my uh, anti-glare. I love this screen protector. This is so cool. It feels nice. It really does reduce the glare and it doesn't leave fingerprints. Um, you do get a slight smeared look, you know, a very minor smeared look because obviously it's not bloody... It's, it's not... Uh, it is prone to a slight bit of, a bit of um, grime on there, whatever, but... It does what it says and you get the desired effect. But this is the tip video, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sellotape and just literally just get your screen protector and stick the bugger on there, look. This is very primitive, the action that I'm taking right here. You can go ahead and maybe uh, curl it under. Could you actually see that there? I hope you could. You know, you can actually stick it on the table. I'm just gonna stick it on the flag real quick, but you can like stick it on there and hold it into place, you know. This isn't going to hold into place, obviously, because the flag's not actually attached to the table. But there you go. Look, it's in, in place like this. You stick the screen protector on there. 
and just peel it off. And trust me when I say that is actually taking off the uh, dirt that's actually on there. Okay, and this does work very well. Whoop, losing myself there, guys. Okay, because I actually put on one of those, um, what's I'm gonna call it, one of these anti fingerprint screen protectors yesterday, and man, it was giving me no, no end of hassle, let me tell you. I was picking up dirt, I don't know what was going on, but it felt like I had some sort of gale force bloody hurricane fly through my little office here and I get picking up all sorts of dust and rubbish. It wasn't really that bad guys, seriously, that was just a joke. <laughs> but yeah, you know how it is. Like I said, you get all stressed out, you start sweating at the fingertips, you start shaking, because <laughs> you can't get the silly thing to go on. But look, I'm actually lifting off all of the dust in the lint that's actually on there. And that is genuinely working, guys. Look at that. I don't know if you can see, but I am actually seriously lifting that off. Now, I was actually given this tip by one of my viewers. And I'm not about to say, oh, you know, hey, this is all my idea. Thanks very much. And uh, give me your kudos. So, and unfortunately, I don't have that so that viewer subscriber's name, okay, because unfortunately his comment passed and I said to him, you know, when I do this video, I'm going to give your name, all right, I will voice your, uh, voice my thanks to your name. So what I want you to do is, is if you did give me this tip, go ahead and post a comment, all right, to this video, and then obviously when I see your name come up and you say, hey, English or whatever, I gave you that tip, uh, thanks for putting the video out there, and then I will acknowledge that because I will see your name, and then I'll go through my PMs, just scan through them, and obviously I'll see your name come up there, and uh, then I'll give you the thumbs up, and then I'll definitely uh, give the thanks to it, because once, as soon as, the sooner you do it, I can then go back into this video, and I can just do one of those annotations, you know, and I can just put, hey, this is thanks to so-and-so, all right, and that's exactly what I'll do, because this is a brilliant little tip, and this works for all the screen protectors. I'm using my mirrored screen protector right now. I've got a Switch Easy screen protector, my, my true love right here, because you know how long that screen protector worked before, and you're probably thinking, well, why didn't you reuse your screen protector that you took off of, sorry, that you had on your 3G that you gave back to um, Apple, because you remember I got it repaired and took it in. Well, I didn't take that one off because it did actually have a scratch on it, so I was okay with them taking that one away. But yeah, look at that. And it doesn't reduce the stickiness, okay? It stays, it keeps its, ad its adhesiveness, all right? And let me just throw it on here. I'm mauling it up like a wally here. Okay, obviously you clean it up, and this isn't for the 2G, obviously, but look at that. That's stuck on there, see? Obviously this is not an installation, that's not how I throw them on, it's like, ooh, yeah, you get your screen protector, just blast it on, look at that, oh, it looks absolutely brilliant, look at, oh, oh, that's wonderful, oh, yeah, I really like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting a bit carried away there, guys, but, yeah, you take your time, when you install it, you would brush it off, but like you can see, that really is adhesive, look, see, it doesn't lose its ad adhesiveness, you clean it off, so just get your sellotape, easy as pie, stick it on, peel it off, I'm making it look like a complete shambles here because the center tape's stuck to the flag and not the table. And that's as easy as it is, guys. So if you like this video, if you're, if you're pleased with this little tip, it's, if it's helped you, post a comment in the comment box. And uh, I hope that I've actually aided in saving you a screen protector or two, all right? So just remember, don't throw them away. Reuse them because it, you really can, all right? Hopefully I've not rambled too much in this video and it has helped you. Sticky tape, microfiber, secondhand screen protector, Bob's your uncle. Or maybe he's not. Or maybe he's, his, maybe he's your aunt. I don't know. But we'll see. Okay, guys. Well, this has been another English twist. Or another. It's one of my first English twist tips. Um, you know what time it is. It's time to rock out. This is English twist. Signing out. Mm -hmm.